When I was a boy of nine, I read a book called The Malay Archipelago by the great 19th century naturalist, the co-proposer with Charles Darwin of the theory of evolution by natural selection, Alfred Russell Wallace. This is it. And in it, he describes his travels and explorations through Borneo and Sumatra, eastwards to the islands that are now Indonesia, uh, to the western end of New Guinea. And in it, I saw one illustration that thrilled me to the marrow. It shows greater birds of paradise displaying in the forest of New Guinea and being hunted by native plume hunters. It seemed to me then, as it indeed it seems to me now, that to see the greater bird of paradise in display must be one of the most thrilling sights in nature. And it became my childhood ambition to go and do just that. Well, it's taken me 60 years, but here I am. This, at last, is Wallace's picture come to life. He was the first European to glimpse this extraordinary spectacle, and he knew well, in general terms, what was happening. This is a female, and she's come to pick a mate from among the gorgeous males who are displaying. when musical complexity really takes off. The superb lyrebird in Australia has one of the most complex songs of any bird. He continually adds elements to it and will incorporate just about anything he hears just to demonstrate how accomplished he is. A kookaburra. A car alarm. Even a logger's chainsaw. So why should a simple territorial cheat...